Hello everyone, this is Kevin again, and today I'm going to show you an implementation of a constraint satisfaction problem. And basically what a constraint satisfaction problem is, given several constraints, the algorithm needs to find a solution to these constraints. And we're going to implement this with a crossword search. Um, and here we go. So the first uh, crossword that we're going to do is, OK, so let's see what it generates. So what we have here is 6795. And basically, um, the constraints are obviously the sizes of each of the blocks. So 3, 5, 4, 4 over here. And then uh, the computer program just chose from a random block of uh, one, two, three, zero through 10, basically, um, and solved the crossword right here. And let's run it again. So run customized. And I think the next one is uh, structure zero words one. So what we have here is bit, days, sign, and true. And let's just run this another time over here with structure one words one, so structure one, words one. And we have minimax, intelligence, infer, logic, search, and network. All right. Um, so let's run through this again. And our next one is structure two, words two. So basically, the structure is the structure of the crossword and the words two over here. That's the dictionary of all the words that we're choosing from. And words two is a particularly large dictionary. And this one's, uh, we have sake, seed, elite, fee, like, and emerge. And once again, how it solves this problem is uh, basically um, each of these spaces over here, so four, uh, going across, four down, five across, three down, four across, and it looks like six down. Um, what the program first does is it attaches every possible word to each of these spaces, and then obviously gets rid, rid of those words um, as possible values for each of these spaces if they don't match the word length. So if a word isn't six characters long, then obviously gets rid of all of those options. And then... Um, it solves for the secondary constraint, which is the last letter in, let's say, this row has to ma match up with the third letter in this column right here. And gradually, it tests one word at a time um, until it finds combinations that work. And this is a combination that works. There's probably a bunch of other combinations um, that it could find. But yeah, and just for the heck of it, let's run it one more time with this large structure and this large word set. So structure one, words two. And we have considerable, yep, um, beneath, maker, return, chain, and feature. So there you go. That's an implementation of a constraint satisfaction algorithm. Thanks, and I look forward to showing more videos about AI and ML algorithms in the future. This is Kevin again, and have a good day.